Um, so there we have it. I think that's going to work really, really well. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys. We are building a dark elixir base, guys, because as y'all know, I am trying to protect my dark elixir so that I can max out my king and the rest of my troops on my Town Hall 8 base, guys. So we have now come up with an epic Town Hall 8 base for protecting dark elixir that I think is going to work really, really well. I've got it made over here on ClashOfClansBuilder.com. It is set up on the screen. You can see what it's going to look like right here. I don't know what we're going to call it. It looks kind of like a cross, a Celtic cross, but this is going to be the dark elixir saving base, guys. Um, so obviously, first of all, this is what we need in the middle. That's all there is too. We leave it like that and we let people attack it. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. So we're going to go ahead and bring the rest of our resources in here. Obviously, we're trying to protect our gold as well because I need to upgrade all my walls. They're very close to being done. Um, the reason that I left the, uh, the purple walls, the level 7 walls in the middle right there is uh, just because I want uh, the stronger walls a little bit towards the outside as the troops try and get their way in. But I don't think troops are going to head in that much on this base towards the Dark Elixir because of how I have everything laid out. So we're going to go ahead and throw everything in here. Uh, we're going to bring our wizard towers in first as they are my favorite defense as you all know. Make sure y'all leave a like for wizard towers on the video guys because they are ridiculous. Wizard towers are without a doubt my favorite defense for sure. Um, next we're going to bring in the rest of our splash damage. We're going to bring in our mortars right here. They're going to cover literally the entire base and absolutely annihilate anything that tries to get in uh, the base. Now the one the one thing that could be a little hard is um, the troops at, if they attack right here, but with the way the base is laid out, they should walk around the corner and then the mortar can um, take them out in that fashion. So this is what it looks like right now with our splash defense. We're going to go ahead and bring our king in over here. Uh, and then now we're just going to continue bringing in the rest of our resources, guys. Like I said, we want to protect our gold uh, most of all. So we're going to bring in all three of our gold storages right here and move them all the way around the base so that... Uh, all of our loot is spread out. That's one of the biggest things that you guys want to make sure that you do is spread out your loot like that. It sounds like I have Skype up. I need to uh, put that down. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so you always want to keep your, your loot as spread out as possible and uh, as many walls as possible in between it. So you can see all of these have a wall in between them. So any kind of ground melee troops aren't going to be able to get to it. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and bring in our air defenses. We got one right there. We have one right here. And then we have one right here. We're going to bring in our clan castle. I don't really request troops that much um, because I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like I burden people whenever I request troops. So that's why I don't uh, do it. So that's where that's going to be. If you guys want your clan castle to be a little bit more in, we can actually just go ahead and do this. We'll throw our clan castle right there. Um, it is pretty easy to pull out, but... You can also move it over here to uh, like that, but we do want our Dark Elixir dead in the center, so I'm okay with it being... Uh, oh, sorry about that. So I'm okay with people being able to, to draw out those troops. Now let's go ahead and fill in uh, the tips of all these areas. So we got a cannon right there, archer right here, cannon right there, archer right here, and we're just going to continue all the way around. Cannon right here. Come on. Get in there. Archer right here cannon right here and archer right here. We've still got one more archer and cannon uh, that we're going to have to put out here as well. Uh, next we're going to go ahead and bring in our dark elixir drills. We want to protect those since we are trying to get our dark elixir up. So those are going to go right there. And uh, next we're going to bring in our teslas guys which is another one of my favorite defenses. I just think they're hilarious and uh, can really really cause some serious havoc to people uh, as they're attacking your base and trying to move along it. Uh, I think mainly they're just more annoying because you can't always tell exactly where they are. Let's go ahead and bring in our traps which is honestly one of the things that this base is built the most around. So you can see uh, that as troops work their way around the base guys they are going to be uh, funneled into where all these traps are. You can see all these extra walls poking out and whatnot that uh, the troops have to walk around. So it's going to keep them all single file, which also means that any splash damage it is attacking them, they're on top of each other, they're going to take a lot of damage. So that's really, really good that we have that as an option as well. Let's go ahead and bring uh, our giant bomb in right here. We're going to put our spring traps right in front of that, guys, uh, just so that they get flung before they uh, get 
damage on them. That's always super, super important. You want to make sure that they go away and then get damaged. I say that in all my base build videos because if they get damaged and then get flung, then you're kind of wasting, uh, you're wasting because you're sending away something that has 50% health instead of something that has 100% health. So there's that other spring trap, and then we're going to bring in the rest of these bombs. You can see they're just going to walk right over them. It is going to be absolutely perfect. We're going to bring in this other skeleton trap right here. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and spread out our air bombs. We're going to do one seeking air mine on each side. Uh, where does this one go? We'll go ahead and just put this outside the wall right here. Um, and then we need to bring in our uh, just general air bomb as well uh, and try and put one of those. <clears throat> on all the corners also throw another one right in there and then let's go ahead one do we put one down here two three we'll put another one right over here as well now we're going to go ahead and bring in the rest of our stuff guys we're going to put our army camps uh right on this i'm all about symmetry as you guys know uh so we're going to throw those right there all the way around the base just to make it look good and then we are also going to, since this side pretty much has all of our level 7 walls, we're going to bring in a cannon, put that right there, and we're going to bring in uh, an archer and put that right there since we have those extras. And now we're just going to work our way around the base when it comes to the buildings that we put in it. So we do resource base or resource building and then non-resource building and then resource building and non-resource building. And then again, resource building, just so that if somebody comes to your base after you've been away from it for a little bit, they're not going, they have to deploy very, very heavily to get everything. So they end up wasting uh, more troops that way. So if somebody's just trying to spend only like a portion of their troops and they're going to turn your base down uh, because of it. So that's one reason that we always do that in all of our videos. You guys will have noticed that. I say that in every single video, spread out your resources because if all your gold's on one side, somebody's going to come and just take it very, very easily with only like 100 troops instead of having to deploy more than that. So that's why you want to do that and be, uh, be careful and, and hesitant to put them all right next to each other. Um, go ahead and bring this right in here and then we're just going to continue moving our way around. Almost done putting everything around and that can go there. We'll throw this in right here and then we'll just throw this other barrack right here. And we will save that village, guys. And that is going to be it. I'm excited for this base. I'm really trying to protect my Dark Elixir, as you guys know. Um, so there we have it. I think that's going to work really, really well. Uh, I'll be sure to show you guys some replays. Uh, we're also going to be streaming tonight, guys, Eastern Time, uh, at about 7 or something along those lines. So definitely make sure that y'all check that out. Twitch.tv forward slash Game with Malt, guys. And uh, leave a like on the video for me. Comment down below. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. As always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, okay? I'll see you guys later. Peace.